What's good, everybody, man? It's your boy, Kenny Child. We are back with another reaction video. If you haven't subscribed, man, be sure to go click that subscribe button. But today, you guys, we have the actual most accurate. What? Tongue twister very much? The actual most accurate Hooper Hooper basketball YouTuber tier list. Now, you guys already know, man. I guess Polo realized his uh, first Hooper Hooper tier list. It was dog shit. Um, and um, I'm glad you came to your senses, Polo, and you decided to make a, a revamped one. Um, I'm hoping this one not as bad as the first one because you officially own the worst tier list on YouTube. As you guys know, I made the top 25 list. You guys said that was bad, but yeah all right because uh the last one that polo made was actually just a lot worse than mine but we're not here for all that man we're here for the new one we're gonna see what polo gotta say hopefully it's honestly not as shitty that's what i'm praying right now are you guys ready i'm about to make the most accurate basketball list on youtube on, on youtube it was kind of my fault in my last video i didn't really specify how yeah, i would be ranking these youtubers i was trying to rank them based on how much they play as long as their skill level the and that didn't really work out everyone was confused so today as you can see we got a bunch of new people some old faces and i'm gonna be ranking them of all time skill level at their peak so there should be minimal confusion i'm trying to be as realistic as i can as harsh as i so can at their peak healthy ready to go all right and as for the girls i'm gonna rank them as if they were playing these youtubers not just other girls so it would be fair for everyone on the equal playing field though so, as you guys can see we got who this this dude has oh what the fuck Hoopers, Hooper, 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 Hoop, and I added a new one. Subscribe if you're new, like the video and all that. Yeah. I don't need to tell you guys that because you guys do it without me asking, so keep doing your thing. Alright guys, let's start. So, first off, we got Marcellus Howard. So, Marcellus is the benchmark for this, really. He's the first guy on our list. And... Benchmark, huh? Really, Taking he is word. a Hooper Hooper. He's not a Hoopist. I'm gonna be real, okay, real okay. picky who to put so on Hoopus. Uh, I agree with Kenny what he said. Hoopus should be damn near okay, impossible see? to stop. See? A lot of y'all, see, Polo, you made that reaction. I think I've seen this. Some, I know you said some shit, bro. Look, I, I brought you back to the world, bro. I brought you back to your senses, all right? Finally, bro. Uh, but Marcellus. He is almost there, I feel okay, like, so this, but this, he's a hooper hooper. I might move around then. people. Keep in mind, I might move around fine. people if I feel like it. Now, so, for right now, Marcellus is a hooper hooper. Now that Marcellus is a hooper hooper, I, I'm here, all right? I'm a hooper, for sure. For sure. Next up, we got AJ Lopre. Now, AJ, college athlete, could be a you know. Could be a I see him losing very to very little people in the YouTube scene. I might put him in Hoopist later, but for right now, I'm gonna put him in Hooper Hooper. Okay. Next up, we got Kais. Now, Kais hasn't balled in a minute, and he could play, but this is all time. This is all time. So, Kais, you know, if he's like, we've Kais seen him in the game and all that, he's a. Uh, you know, I'd say he's a hoop because, you know, he's not the best, but he's not terrible. Facts. So he's a hoop. Now we got Stephanie. Stephanie against these guys. Man, not put her here, bro. I don't That's really see say. her, uh, you know, winning many, so she's good, you know, she's alright, but I put her as a as a hoe. Not not like that. Y'all know what I mean. She's a HO. Come on now. I think this is one of the Frost Brothers. I don't know. Shout out to my boy Drew on Twitter. He made this for me. Um, he made the last one for me too. So shout out to him. Honestly, I, I just saw I just seen him play flight, and I I mean I I don't know if we could tell by just by that one game, but I. I'm I'm gonna just put him at hoe, you know. He's a hoe. Dude, that sounds. Uh, I'm gonna just say he's a ho. You know, he could. Amir Frost. Kind of ball, but we haven't seen that much. Next up, we got Duke Dennis. That now Duke. Nice, wasn't he? This is a tough one because Duke at his prime, he could you know he could he could beat a lot of people, but I don't know why he doesn't really look, fit that Hooper Hooper description. But I'm gonna have to put him at Hooper Hooper for now. Again, we could move him, but oh, this yeah, list yeah, is looking yeah. pretty nice so far. Next up, we got Mal. Mal is super underrated, I swear, guys. He hasn't posted in a while, so we don't know how, well, like, how, how good he is right now. But I do know, we do know, we know, at his peak, he is a Hooper Hooper. Mal is super underrated, I swear. His skill level is off the charts. Next up, we got Cash Nasty. But see, look, the thing with this video saying everyone in their prime, right? I think this is the only problem that I got with the video is that like if you're not in the lab working if you're not in the lab grinding to be better if you're not putting in that work it's like that's really on you you know what I'm saying um 
Like, you got to put in the work and you got to grind if you want to be better. Like, like, you can't just... Like, I get it, like, for the list, but I'm saying it's like everyone in their prime is obviously good as fuck. You know what I'm saying? It's like everyone's good, unless you don't really hoop. I'm talking about, like, the people that play ball. Um, so, if you, but if you're not in the lab, you're not, you know, doing dribbling or working out and doing shit like that, then, like, obviously your your bar's going to drop down. It's hard to just basically... Now, Cash has improved prime, a lot, you know but... This list is way less compact than the last list, and well, we I'm going to have to put Cash at Hooper. Um, for yeah, now, I don't see Hooper. him being a Hooper Hooper just yet. In the last Shh. list, yes, I did put him in Hooper Hooper, but that's because it was like way more compact, and there's more space in this one. So Cash, he's a Hooper. He has improved a bunch, though, don't get me wrong. Cash is a way better player than last month, just by one month of a difference. But Cash is a Hooper. Next up, we got DC Heat. And Hooper, Hooper. DC Heat, a lot of people are, you know, make this a huge controversy. He beat Devontae Frigg. I don't know what else you want from this guy. He's but it doesn't look right putting him next to Cash. Especially not next to Kai's. Especially not to uh, Symphony or Frost. So, Hooper. I'm going to just put him in Hooper Hooper for now. Next up, we got the other Frost brother. Oh, he man, lost a fly. You know he is going. a HO. Next, we got yeah. Zach. TTG and prime, Zach hooper, at his hooper. prime. He played hooper, college. Hooper, if you're in college, you're a hooper hooper, right? At his, at your prime, at his prime, I mean, he, he was in college, and I feel like if you're in college, you have to be a hooper hooper at some level, right? Zach is also super underrated. I wonder how he would fit in the 1v1 scene. Obviously, he's a little old now, but you know, he was good. He's still good. Next up, we got Phantom, and Phantom is tough Does to Phantom rank because I feel like he's not very serious, and I can't just like, I yeah. don't know, I can't he just like even, pretend he like hope, um, how he would play if he was serious, so he don't even play I'm gonna just put him at yeah. HO. Well, this is nah. tough. All right, yeah, I'm gonna just put him at HO yeah, for now. Bro. Next up, we got Don J, and Don J, I mean, yeah, I feel bro. like I need to put him at HO just because he's a kid and he yeah. get bodied, but he's good, but I'm gonna put him for hoop yeah, for okay, now. Okay. Also with Miles Brown, I think hoop. I'm gonna put him at hoop for now. We could move him down, maybe we'll see. No, Except Miles. we got Phase Rug. Rug has a nice shot, and he doesn't even play like that. Rug he's not a, a hooper. Hoop. He said himself, and he's at his peak, he's I don't even hoop. know if he's had a peak. He's but a hoop. He's a hoop. Rug could hoop. He could hoop. Yeah. Oh. Hoopist. I think we got Hoopist. our first Easy. hoopist. We got Filet. Filet is damn near unstoppable. Um, I think he beat Devin Booker in the three-point contest. Booker's a three-point champion too, and uh, like Booker obviously wasn't trying his best. But Filet, we know he's got the jellies. He's Filet could be a damn near G League player. Filet is our first hoopist yeah, on the first. tier list. Okay, look, 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 look. All right, look, look what we got here, you guys. I got my man your age. If we're gonna base off of Prime, if we're gonna base off of like everything, I'm gonna be honest, man, and this is the truth. Your Rage doesn't have a lot of IRL content. I think he has that 21 we've seen in goddamn near every fucking clip people talk about him when it comes to these lists. Him shooting with his backpack on and him holding his iPhone in one hand and literally just throwing the ball like behind his back. I think that was the same day with him shooting his backpack. So, can we really say your rage is even a, like at a hooper hooper level? Like he says he is. Because we don't really have evidence of it. He can say it. Yeah, I get it. And, you know, I'm saying like he said he's like 6'2", 6'3". He looked like he got a nice, you know, body build. I get it. But, Polo, now, you don't really have footage of your rage hooping like that bro so i'm actually interested to see what you're gonna where you're gonna put them you know the time know always comes in every him. list to rank your rage i've you seen enough D gameplay of rage to know where he's at in this say? list to rank your rage i've seen this on the tier list you know the time always comes in every list to rank your rage i've seen enough gameplay of rage no you have no where he's at shut the fuck up no you have it you've seen damn you seen two clips of your rage hooping bro that's all he has on the internet he don't have any other hooping videos like like you know you you know it you know yourself in this list Stop, particularly bro. i feel like if you have you know the high iq you could just tell when someone could hoop you could you could just the tell by the way IQ, they pick up okay. the ball the way they dribble the way they shoot the way they hold their follow through 
everything the way they get rebound literally everything now i can't really decide if rage is a little better than this and we don't know rage at his prime we haven't seen that okay good but i recognize it on this prime on youtube on this prime you're gonna suck his dick off right here bro I already know. on youtube I already know you rage know. is a hooper right oh! i think that's fair, right in the middle of the list and wow! there is way okay hey i agree with this and I'm sure your rage would agree with this too. Because it makes sense. You guys. And look, I ain't got no disrespect to YRG. I don't know I fuck with your rage. Um, but like, yeah, this been art. Okay, More room this, this to improve, I feel like. So yeah, I think there. rage got like the most potential on this list. But your rage does have potential. Next up, we got his, his, his Frigga. Is good, and bro. this is tough because Devontae Frigga. Hooper, Hooper. I see him dropping off almost anyone. Um, he lost again, we can move people. Frigga, I think a Hooper Hooper. Good, good. Man's, okay. Man is nice. Have you seen his college game? Dude is super nice. So but he, I might move him to Hoopus, who knows. But at Hooper Hooper, I think he fits in perfectly with these guys at their peak. Next up, we got Tanner Morgan. And Tanner could almost be a Hoopus just because he's 6'10 and he's got the skill set. But I think he'll be a Hooper Hooper for now. Um, Yeah, I see maybe Agreed. a few people beating him and not a lot of people know about him. If you guys don't know Tanner, please check him out. He's super underrated. Next up, we got Kenny Chow. And Kenny, my last video, they put him as Super Hooper. But again, this list, I'm that okay. list, I mean, was compact, way more compact. But um, I see Marcellus beating Kenny. I see AJ beating Kenny. I see Duke beating Kenny. I see Mal beating Kenny. I see DC beating Kenny. Zach beating Kenny. Devontae beating Kenny. And Tanner Morgan beating Kenny. And Kenny's a hooper. He's a hooper. He I ain't hoop. even mad about that. Kenny's a hooper. I ain't even mad Next about up, we got LSK now. LSK is always getting in injured for Addis Prime, prime I think. LSK in his prime, I ain't gonna lie. It could be a hoopist. LSK is a hoopist. He's got insane, insane skill level, and his height is just damn near in unstoppable. Prime, LSK is now. one of the most unstoppable people on YouTube. He is for sure a hoopist. Next up, we got DDG. Um, very scrappy player. Relies on his defense more than his offense, hooper, but it's not very consistent. So, uh, DDG Ooh. is a HO. Next up, we got Mopi, the god Mopi. Um, Mopi, Mopi's got my respect because he grinds on YouTube. And Mopi's you know a soccer Mopi, player, man. he's not a basketball he player, a and you know, he tries and he gets a lot better, like, uh, the more he trains and all that, and Mopi, you got high potential, you, you really do. For right now, um, I mean, at your peak, I mean, I think right now is Mopi's peak, right? I don't think he's ever been better, um, but Mopi, you're a hoe, lots of, you're, I mean, you're an HO, lots of room to improve, but you're an HO. Next up, we got Jay Jones, and Maybe Jay Mopi Jones... Mopi. I almost want to put him at Hoopist. No, I might, no, but Jay Jones is hooper. super nice. Dude, hooper, this hooper. this dude's mid-range is damn near unstoppable. Fast hands, good lateral quickness, fast lateral quickness, good perimeter defense. But I think I'm just putting him at Hooper Hooper for now. I think that makes yeah. sense. Those guys all look like Hooper Hoopers. I think this list is looking super accurate. Next up, we got Jardel, and I think Jardel's gotten a lot better, but he is still a hoop, I feel like. I don't think he's at Cash's. Kenny is not even at Rage's level. James has been getting yet. a lot Next better. Next up, we got guys. Rice Gum and Rice Gum. It's because James hasn't put out footage of his new his new skill set. I'll be honest. I'm telling y'all, James is good. I'm, I'm supposed to be playing James one on one real soon. I was, you guys gonna did see. beat Cash Amber Waters. The win against Cash was questionable, but still, it still would have been one point if he would have lost or won. And Rice Gum is a hooper. He could hoop. He's good, even though he doesn't play that much Debatable at his, hooper, at his hooper, prime. I don't know when his prime was, but yeah, if he could be Cash uh, a few months ago, he's good. He's a hooper. Next up, we got Trey Good, and I almost want to put him at Hoopist too. I might, you know, I might just put Jay Jones, Trey, along with the Hoopist here. I think I might do that. Trey Good and Jay Jones, I think they deserve. What? How are you just gonna move Jay? Mm, I don't know about Hoopist, bro. Look. I mean, this is your opinion, I'm, you know what I'm saying? But, like, Hoopus has to be, like, fucking elite, bro. Like, almost unstoppable every play. Like, you can't stop me any play. Like, I'm scoring a bucket nine times out of ten, bro. Like, that's my Hoopus, bro. And as good as Trey was in his prime, as good as Jay is in his prime, I mean, even LSK, it's like, they got to score nine times out of ten. Filet, nine times out of ten, bro, for sure. LSK, 
I mean, he would score nine times out of ten out because of his height. Um, but I mean, look, no disrespect to Jay. Jay could hoop, bro. I think he a hooper, hooper. If we're gonna make it list like that, and Trey, Trey's nice too in his prime. Uh, I mean, they're like on the very, very edge of this hooper, hooper, hoopers list. I just, I think my hoopers list is just my hoopers, uh, like requirements are just really, really high. Like, to be on the hoopers but, level, I mean, your opinion, Paul they Lee. got my respect. They've proven themselves time and time I'm again. Like They've gone toe to toe there, with anyone in game. They've gone toe to toe with LSK and Jester in the 2v2 tourney. So I think they belong in the hoopers category. I, I don't know guys, this list, I'm happy with this, how this list is looking right now. Next up we got Solonati. Of course, we don't know where he's at. Uh, he might be, you know, meditating or something, but at his peak, Solonati is a hoopist. Now we got T Jazz. Now you just don't T Jazz, damn near unstoppable. I you think it's almost unfair too. to put him at Hooper Hooper. I don't think T Jazz has ever lost a serious game. So I think I'm gonna put T Jazz at Hoopist because T Jazz well. could be in some sort of G League. I think he's got an offer. I don't know if that was cap. I you know I'm really thinking about putting Devontae Frigga on Hoopist, but Jay Jones did beat Devontae just Frigga. Um, I don't know. If Devontae could be anyone else on that tier. So for right now, he still needs to like prove himself, I feel like. That sounds so weird saying that because we know he could ball, but I think he just fits on Hooper Hooper for now. Los at his prime. Los is all right. He just shoot, I feel like. Can't really play defense or nothing else, but he's a streaky shooter, so I'm going to put him at Hoop. Ty the guy, very nice player, solid okay. player. I think he deserves to be on Hooper. Has a nice shot, has good defense, underrated defense, I feel like, very lengthy. But now we got Agent. He likes to play around a lot like Phantom, and like Phantom, I think he deserves to be on the HO tier. Uh, not there yet. He is on a weight loss journey, so shout out to Agent. Maybe when he's a little bit more fit, he'll focus on basketball. But I think right now he's just focusing on losing weight and is on his YouTube, which is great. But for right now, he's a HO. Jester, Jester at his peak. This is hard, this is very hard, because Jester has lost a few 1v1s and also he could beat a lot of people in 1v1s. But I think Jester might be a my Jester might be a Hooper Hooper just because I see him beating He did lose to Rice Gum, but I feel like Jester had a very off game and this is Jester at his peak. That really wasn't Jester at his Jester peak. At his peak. Oh, um he was really rushing his shot. As we know, his shot is very slow. He needs to get into it. So it was just an off day. I see him beating Ty the guy. I think he's beating Kenny. I, I don't know actually, but I see him beating Kenny, of course. Um he has beaten Cash. Cash is beating him, but Jester at his peak. I got him over Cash. And Rage, that's very questionable, but I put him at Hooper Hooper. Bone Collector, um, this is his job. This is damn, basketball is his damn near job. Bone Collector is a hoopist. Not many people are beating uh, Bone Collector. We're not gonna act like I didn't not see wrong. you dislike my video, bro. I might have to put you. I would never do that. But TK, I have seen enough to know he could hooper. hoop. And not only can he hoop, but he is a hooper. Facts. I can't wait to see uh, gameplay from TK. Very high potential, just like Rage. Rage has mentioned he plays a lot like Jay Jones, just like a very, just like a smaller Jay Jones, and I see it too. So very high potential, but I think right there at Hooper is a very uh, nice and safe spot to put him on. Next up, we got uh, I'm Davis. He's gotten a lot better, but he still is very clumsy with the ball. So I'm gonna put him at Hoop. He has gotten a lot better though. Next up, we got Brawadis and Brawadis. He plays a ton at his peak. I, I've you know I used to watch him a lot at his peak. Um, I'm supposed I think to be playing at his Davis peak. when he comes to LA, y'all. Hopefully I get a game with Duke too, but uh, let me know who y'all think will be to me and Davis, even with me and Duke. He gets better every day. Duke gonna be like, a tough but, one. But I heard um, Davis got better too. He's a ton, he's so. good, he's solid, but he's nothing, he's nothing, you know, exceptional. So I'm gonna put him at Hooper along with everyone else. Deontay, Deontay at his peak, very good. He beat LSK. And, but that's all I've really seen from Siante. Um, that's that might be just my fault. I haven't seen him play any other one v one, so uh, it's kind of unfair to put him anywhere near LSK's level, even though he beat him. Um, LSK was having an off day; he was airballing a lot. So I'm gonna just put Siante at, at Hooper because he did beat LSK, and but he I don't think he is near that level. Hank the Tank, uh, wanna you know. I don't know if he, if, I think he's just a content creator for basketball. Um, I saw that 1v1 against Mopi, it wasn't too great, but you know, good guy. Uh, I'd put him at HO though. Troy Dan, you know, a uh, 2K player, uh, not really a basketball player, so I'd put him at HO. Very funny guy though. 
This is uh, Chris from AMP, I think, and I think I just saw him hoop um, in the King of the Court that they uploaded just a few days ago or a week ago, and he's solid. You know, he could hoop, but we again we haven't seen a lot from him, so I last, bro. I put him at Hooper. You know, he got some nice moves, and he said he hasn't bought in a few months, so that's you know that's impressive. So I think it's pretty safe to put him at Hooper with Cash, Rage, and everyone else. Next up, we got Dev in the lab, and Hoopers. Dev in the lab. One of the, I, I don't see many Hoopers. people stopping them. Dev in the lab Hoopers. is super nice. He is a hoopist for sure. This list just looks right. I don't know what else you guys can say, but this list is All looking right, accurate. The last one, Flight of, of course, we got Flight, Flight, and Flight by far is a hoopist. No, of course not, but Flight, you know, Flight. <laughs> oh, I was fucking, oh, I was <laughs> Guy's gotten a lot better, and I don't think he's a HO, but he might be a hoop. I don't, I don't know about putting him on the same level as Jai Dell and Rug and Kaisto. Davis could be flight, Lowe's could be flight. Jai Dell, Rug, e. last second change. I mean, are you basing it off a of one on one now, or like what it is skill level in their prime, like? Flight in his prime June, he was a hooper. I'd put flight at HO, move miles at HO. He's so indecisive. This bro. list is pretty accurate, yeah. He's so indecisive, dog. Come on, man. Ask me. So there you guys have it, the most accurate hooper tier list on YouTube. I think this is super accurate. I'm happy with this how this came out. Let me know what do you guys think if I made uh, I think I mean this list is pretty accurate other than maybe a few but i give it to flight as look like like in his prime you know what i'm saying like we're not talking about one-on-one -on -one beating each other and whatnot so like flight in his prime like he was doing pretty good in june um yeah i don't know about that one i mean he could be a hoop too it is what it is but other than that lady jim be sure to go subscribe man catch y'all later next time peace